it's not as detailed as you would like to see right now, but I think we got a lot of guys that have the ability uh, to play for us. That doesn't guarantee, you know, any number of reps on a game by game basis, but I think we've got the ability to uh, to roll guys and keep guys fresh. So we're playing our our best football late in the game, and that's that's really what you want out of your front. You want you don't want anybody wearing down and and not able to rush the quarterback and push the pocket and make negative yards plays when it's crunch time. So um, if we can if we can keep our, our ones uh, fresh by, by rolling people, then, then we definitely want to do that. So and that's kind of what I talked about in my meeting this morning with you know the way the rules are now, right? Um, camp's not what it used to be. It used to be come in and get in shape and um, two and a lot of times three practices and it was you know, it was full pads right from day one, and now it's, it's just different. Our guys have been here all summer. They, they put in a lot of time from a football standpoint. So mentally and physically, I think we're ahead of the game, uh, but there's not as many opportunities to go out and practice. And, you know, we going into the next two weeks this morning, we have 10 practices. And, and my message was there's just got to be a heightened sense of urgency, right? Because before you know it, you're into school. And, and even that first week of school, technically you're already into game week because – Game week's not a full week, so you start counting backwards. And so we just, we, we got to make every practice count, and I think we have. Um, but but I really like the fact that we've got a lot of competition out there, and, and that just makes guys come out and work harder. He's going to bring the heat, Mark. I mean, you talked about Carl Office's absence is well documented. Mm -hmm. Who's next? You know, I, I think Scotty Humpich is a guy that, that can create his own pass rush. Um, I think Yanni in, in situations and passing situations can create his own pass rush. I think Corday with his length, um, again, he's got he's to prove it day in and day out, but I think his length gives him the ability to uh, create things on, on the edge. I think Jenkins is a guy that's improved. You know, you go to practice last Friday, I think Humpich and, and, and KJ both had uh, five sacks between the two of them. Now, if anybody was in attendance and watching, there weren't any officials out there, so they weren't throwing the play, blowing the de play dead. Uh, but but we had you know we had five sacks between our, our first two lines with those two guys, so that was that was good to see. Uh, I think Nick Caraway is is an explosive young athlete that we got to try to figure out, you know, because I think he's he's going to have the ability to create his own pass rush. So we've got guys, um, you know, is there one guy like a George? No, we don't. We don't, you know, but we're going to have to mix and match and, and have different packages at different times. And, you know, you talk about the inside guys. Branson Dean is is a guy that can rush the quarterback. Um, and there's others that just not as, as often as we would like. So I think it's just it's just finding out from a consistency standpoint. And, and sometimes you may roll different packages. That may be part of it, too. So is there any one guy? No, absolutely not. You don't um, you don't just replace a George Karloftis. you got to. We're going to have to do it with, with numbers. What makes Branson and Lawrence a good combination inside for you? Well, just the experience thing. Number one, they've been around the block and they've played a lot of football. And, you know, uh, Branson, I think, is uh, you just look at him on the hoof, right? Like he's not your prototype three technique, but he's uh, he's very technically sound. I mean, he's he's gotten bigger and stronger through the years. But um, there's guys that are longer and, and twitchier and uh, he's just very, very detailed. Uh, he studies the game. He loves football. Um, and you can say a lot about, you know, it's a lot of the same things about Lawrence, too. Lawrence is just a bigger body. He's not as athletic, but he, he's very, very smart, uh, understands the game. Uh, the biggest thing with Lawrence is going to be keeping him healthy week to week. You know, he's coming off of two surgeries, and we're going to be smart with him during camp. Yet at the same time, we got to get his, his legs underneath him. Uh, but then again, you know, I, I'm going to jump to to the nose position. You got Demarge Lewis that I think is very much improved, and um, you know, I think he's a better nose for us than he is a three technique. But there's bodies in there. Mo Monade is a guy that I think, when you look at the nose position, he gives us some more the most athleticism out of anybody at that spot. And I think he's another guy from from an inside rush standpoint that. That, that can do some things, not just be a guy that pushes the pocket, but can create, you know, depending on where that center slides in protection, he can he can do some things. So, um, you know, optimistic right now of, of, of our numbers, but again, we gotta, we gotta keep bringing it and proving it on a daily basis.